someone was honking their horn. But it's God coming back. I refuse to go to hell behind this gay shit. When you thought someone was honking their horn. But it's God coming back. I refuse to go to hell behind this gay shit. When you thought someone was honking their horn. But it's God coming back. All right, so long. I re first want to start with the to go. praise and glory to Yahweh by Shemi Abishai by Shemu Kaipudash. Bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Abishai. Yahweh been the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai been the name of his beloved son who the world innocently calls Jesus Christ. That's their true names in the last one, Kodash, the ancient Hebrew. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone. And blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. I'm back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. And the title of this lesson will be, It's all funny games until judgment hits. Alright, it's all funny games until judgment hits. All right, as you can see, you got this Israelite woman right here, straight up playing, man. You know, a so-called lesbian woman. <clears throat> she has evil spirits on her, okay, and she's, she's she over here playing, man. Okay, let me play it one more time. To hell behind this gay shit. When you thought someone was honking their horn. This is supposed to represent the return of the Lord, right? The horns. But it's God coming back. But it's God coming back. I refuse to go to hell behind this. So she runs and puts on a dress, you know, you know, showing you that Jake knows what they're doing, man. They're well aware that the Lord is not cool with homosexuality, man. They're well, aw well aware of it, you know. And here she is saying, I refuse to go to hell behind, behind this gay shit, man. Our, our people, man. You know, really, the best thing for them is death, man. Just, just calling it straight. All right, because they're, they're, they're gone, man. They're gone. She says, "I refuse to go to hell behind this gay shit." All right, not knowing that they are in hell. Okay, they are in hell, man. Hell is a condition. Okay, but um, it just shows you that our people have absolutely no fear of the heavenly Father, man. No fear whatsoever, man. Okay. They think they're getting away with their wickedness, you know, and they're, and they're proud about it, man. Like I, I did a lesson yesterday, um, and I was reading Isaiah uh, 3 and 9. It says, the show of their countenance, they'll uh, work against them, you know. They, uh, it, says, it says their sin is as Sodom. They hide it not, man. Okay, they don't hide it, man. They're openly uh, going off, okay, and they, they have no fear. All right, when the scriptures tell you that the fear of the Lord... Is the uh, the beginning of wisdom, man. Okay, so nothing is good. Nothing good is coming to you, Jake's man. That 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 have absolute have absolutely no fear and reverence to the heavenly Father by Hashem Yahweh and to His laws, man. Like I said, Jake knows that homosexuality is against. The, you know what? Let me get it, man. All right, because Jake knows, man. Let me start off with that. This is uh, Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind, okay, <clears throat> and that, that goes for uh, man and woman. If a man also lie with mankind as he lied with a woman, okay, because a man is, uh, uh, is supposed to lie with a woman, okay, and a woman's, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, man is supposed to lie with a woman. Okay, it says both of them have committed an abomination. They should surely be put to death. Their blood should be upon them. Okay, and Jake is well aware of that. That's why she ran and put on a dress. All right, that's another scripture that I read yesterday, man. A uh, 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 man is not supposed to wear with a, uh, a woman's garments, and a woman is not supposed to, uh, uh, you know, wear a man's garments, man. Okay, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. What she do? She went and put on women's garments. Okay, that's another sin that she's acknowledging. All right. 
This place has to be destroyed, man. Okay? <clears throat> so let me read this again. It says, if a man also lie with mankind as he lie with a woman. Okay, and that goes with that goes with uh, uh, man on man and woman on woman. Both of them have committed an abomination. Okay, this is a straight up clear abomination to the Lord. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood should be upon them. You see? And of course, that's not a... Uh, that's not a, uh, you know, executed in this kingdom, all right? Because this is a wicked kingdom, okay? So let me just start here. This is uh, Jeremiah 5 and 20. Declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in the and publish it in Judah, okay? Saying, hear now this, O foolish people, okay? Because our people are, are, are foolish. Like the scriptures say in, in the prior chapter, Jeremiah 4 and 22, our people are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, man. Okay, they can tell you all about how to how to how to uh, uh, murder someone, you know, how to how to how to scheme on another man's wife, you know, how to sell drugs, but to do good, man, how to serve the Lord, they don't have no knowledge, man. They don't know the first step into serving the Lord, which is the fear of the Lord. Okay, it says, "Hear now, this, O foolish people, and without understanding." Which have eyes and see not Which have ears and hear not Alright because the Lord have blinded them Okay Like it tells you in Romans 11 chapter Even unto this day It said here's the point Fear ye not me Save the Lord Alright it's the heavenly, father, the heavenly father speaking man Fear ye not me Okay our people don't Fear the Lord whatsoever man Whatsoever Alright they have more reverence to Esau, even the so-called white man, okay, then they have their power, man. You know, they, 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 our people have been truly turned out, man. All right, and it wasn't this bad when I was coming up, man. All right, this world is waxing worse and worse, man. You know, when I was in, in middle school and high school, it, it, it wasn't like this, man. It wasn't like this, man. And, you know, when I was in middle school and high school. You know, that's going back to the, you know, uh, 2002, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, man. You know? <clears throat> it says, fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Will you not tremble at my pres presence? All right, we know our people will tremble at the Lord's presence, man. Just like they did in uh, uh, in the time of Moses, man, when the Lord uh, uh, had Jake come to the, to the bottom of that mountain. All right, they didn't they they, they didn't want to uh, deal with the Lord then, man. All right, which have placed the sand for for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it, and though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, roar, yet can they not pass over it. And what is this a statement of? This is a statement of power. All right, the Lord is letting it be. Uh, uh, the Lord is stating His power, man. Some of His power, okay. But this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. And the scriptures tell you uh, rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Okay? Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. So the Lord is looking at you rebellious as Jake's like he would look at a witch. Okay? A warlock. Someone that, 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 that practiced sorcery, man. And that's something that our people are into now. I mean, uh, too. Okay? It says, but this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart, man. They are revolted and gone. Literally, man. Our people are through. Okay? And this is all by design by the so-called white man. All right? It says, neither say they in their heart. Let us now fear the Lord, our power. All right? Jake ain't saying that. Jake ain't even thinking about the Lord, man. Although they see the prophets on the highways and byways. Okay? They know the actions are wrong. But yet they still... Uh, uh, Indulging themselves in them wicked in that wickedness, man. Okay, it says, neither neither say they in their heart. Let us fear the Lord, our power that giveth rain, both the former and the latter in his season. He reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Okay, your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. All right, because where does the scripture say? If you always, um, let me go to it, man. 
because the wickedness of our people is keeping them from good, man. It's uh, Sirach 12 and 3. It says, There can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil, nor to him that giveth no alms. Okay? So, no good is coming to you, wicked ass Israelites. Okay? That, that, that think this, this shit is funny, man. Do you think the Lord is laughing in the heavens? You think the, la the Lord is laughing with you, man? You know? Check out these comments, man. Let me see what she says right here. Says, Please don't pass me by, Lord. <laughs> Come on, man. Our people take the Lord for a joke, man. This shit is crazy, really. It says, uh, this is her comment. It says, I'm going to heaven. I don't know what the hell y'all talking about in these comments. Because <laughs> really, I'm sure Jake is getting on her ass, man. All right. Jake still on that heaven and hell, man. All right. The kingdom of heaven, heaven is going to be on earth. Okay. And you're going to be there, but you're going to have to, you're going to have to die first, man. The scriptures say you should know it after death by pain. All right. It says the way you fix the dress though. See, they're laughing. Baby, the dress is sending me to Nazareth. All right. Baby, he knows you can't fool him. Exactly, man. All right, the Lord, the Lord knows exactly uh, the things that you are, are are partaking in, man. Okay, the scriptures say that the sins of Israel are ever before the Lord, man. Okay, it's uh, Sirach seventeen and um, fifteen. It says their ways are ever before Him and shall not be hid from His eyes. Okay, the scriptures tell you the um. What is that? Uh, Proverbs, uh, Proverbs 15 and 3. All right, because our people ain't getting away with shit, man. Jake think they creeping in the dark, you know? Like the Lord don't see you, man. Like the Lord is not causing you to do it. Proverbs 15 and 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the good, the evil and the good, man. Okay, so our people ain't fooling the Lord, man. You ain't getting away with shit. It's your how about Shemal Shah that got you doing it, okay? The Lord got evil spirits on you, man. Like I said, it wasn't like this when I was coming up, man. And I'm 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 fairly young, man. I'm 31. You know? It wasn't like this, man. I, I can only imagine what it's like going to high school now, man. Oh, oh man. A fucking tranny will walk by you and shit, you know? Multiple trannies. A pack of trannies, man. This place has to be destroyed, man. All right. This is uh, Romans, the first chapter, verse 26. It says, for this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. Okay. Being a homosexual is a vile affection. Okay. That's, those are evil spirits on you. It says, for even their woman, they change the natural use into that which is against nature. What's the natural use of a woman? To lay with a man and procreate, man. Not for two women to get together. That's confusion. What are you going to do? You know? A woman needs penetration, man. All right? A man is supposed to plant his seed within a woman. Okay? And that's... What is that going to uh, uh, bring? That's going to bring forth life. Okay? This is anti... This is anti-life right here, man. This is anti-life. Okay? Skay said, When you thought someone was honking their horn. This is anti-life, man. And you can see this is a woman off back off back this is a fucking woman man but here she is you know who knows i mean man all the abominable shit she does man and this is this is like look at it a hundred and k a hundred and seven i'm assuming that's a hundred seven thousand man likes and uh over six thousand comments and uh eleven thousand shares man wow She got spirits on her, man. It says, for this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. Okay, the Lord gave you up unto that. Why? So he could judge your wicked ass, man. For even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men. All right, because that shit is against nature, man. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman. Okay? Burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly. It ain't right. 
and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat, man. Okay, so the Lord is about to bring a lot of judgment upon you, Jakes, that are occupied in evil, man. That are not repenting. That are not, that have no fear of the Lord whatsoever, man. When the scriptures tell you the conclusion of the, of the, uh, the conclusion of the matter, the whole duty of man is to fear the Lord and keep his commandments, man. All right, is that, is that not what the Lord requires? Deuteronomy 10 and 12, it says, And now Israel, all right, Israel, are you so-called Negroes, you Hispanics, and you Native Americans? What doth the Lord thy power require of thee? But to fear the Lord, that's the first thing. That's the first thing, man. To fear the Lord, thy power, to walk in all his ways, to love him, and to serve the Lord, thy power, with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the, the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day, for that good, okay? That's what the Lord requires of our people, man. But what do they want to do? They want to they want to tempt the Lord. They want to play with the Lord. Okay, as if the Lord is, is isn't real, man. No reverence, no respect. All right? Shit is madness, man. This shit is a bunch of confusion out here, man. You know, that's why y'all about to is going to send Esau eat him upon you, man. It ain't gonna be no pity, man. The scriptures say, pray not for this people. He took away his peace from you. Okay? This is uh Romans 13 and 1. Let every soul be subject unto his unto the higher powers. You know, I didn't want to make this lesson long. You know, I just I, I came across that and I was like, wow. You know, our people really are um, they they really have no fear, man. You know? They really think it's a uh, a fucking game. That every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be are, are ordained of the Most High, right? The scriptures say the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, okay? This is why all this wickedness is, is uh, in the forefront in this world, man, all right? Because the wicked is reigning, all right? Which the Lord has set them up, all right? It says, whosoever therefore resisteth the power... Resist, resisteth the ordinance of the Most High, and they that res, resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of the Most High to thee for good. Here's the point. But if thou do that which is evil, okay, and our people are wrapped up in all kinds of evil, man, uh, homosexuality, murder, uh, uh, idolatry, okay, witchcraft, okay, uh, 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 Jake's be out here worshiping Satan openly, man, okay, the, the diets are all abominable, man, you can go on and on, okay, tattooed up from the head to the toe, or a woman, a whores, man, and they make, they make dances and, and, and songs about it, man, all right, it says, but if that, but if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of the Most High, a revenger to execute wrath upon them that doeth evil. So the Lord's going to allow you, Jakes, man, to get ran the fuck over by this devil, man. Okay, and we're going to rejoice, man. Because the majority of our people need death, man. This shit is sickening. And, and, and hey, man. And, and it, it's, it's, they going all out now, man. They going all out, man. No fear, man. No fear but whatsoever, But it's God man. coming back. I refuse God to go man. to hell behind this gay shit. When you thought someone was you know, honking their horn. They don't even think the Lord is coming back, I'm sure. Man, let me end it off on that. I'm pretty sure Jake don't really think the Lord is coming back. Because if they did, then they would, uh, they would repent, man. They would get right, man. It's all right, man. The Lord going, he going to do his thing out here. Let me end it off on this. I think it's, I think it's, uh, yeah, here we go. It's uh, Ezekiel 12 and 21. And the word of the Lord came unto me saying, son of man, what is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel saying, the days are prolonged and every vision felleth. All right. These, this is the mind of, of, of Israel, man. Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord power, I will make this proverb to cease. 
and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. And we're in that time. Okay, and we only getting closer to the time of Jacob's trouble, where the Lord's gonna allow Esau and Edom to come down with that great wrath, and they're gonna see. They're gonna see that it is it ain't a fucking game. They're gonna see that they're at the end of the world, and they're gonna see the Lord, man. The scriptures say all eyes shall see him. They're gonna see a so-called black man return, man, and his power and great glory, man. Let's see some let's see some laughs then. Let's see some jokes then, man. Alright, because they don't think the Lord coming back and, and then when they if they do believe, they they they're thinking of a goddamn Edomite, man. Alright? It says, Tell them therefore, thus said the Lord Power, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a as as a, a proverb in Israel. Why? Because the Lord is gonna have it happen, man. It's gonna be reality, man. Okay? It says, The days are at hand and the effect of every vision. For there shall no more be any vain vision or flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Okay, and it ain't good for you for you wick, wicked jakes out here, man. The things that the Lord has uh, in store for you. It ain't good, okay? The scriptures speak of grievous deaths, man. Okay, the scriptures speak of majority of our people being born in vain, man. Okay, being overtaken by these... Uh, Calamities, man, that's gonna hit. Okay, famine, pestilence. Okay, uh, 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 concentration camps. Okay, all, all kind of, uh, all kind of uh, 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 judgment is gonna hit. It says, "Find the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it." Save the Lord, man. Power. Okay? It says again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesied of the times that are far off. They don't think it's going to happen, man. The scriptures say, put ye, not, put ye not off the day of the Lord, man. Okay? They think it's a far off. Not in my lifetime. Well, guess what? You was born at the end of the world, man. Therefore, let's say... Said unto them, Thus said the Lord Power, There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord Power, man. So, laugh now, cry later, man. Because the shit about to hit the fan, man. And may the Lord, you know, bring a, sp a speedy judgment upon you, Jakes, man. Speedy judgment upon you, Jakes, that think everything is fucking funny, man. All right? But it's God coming back. I refuse to go to hell behind this gay shit. Jake don't take shit serious. They don't take they self serious. And they definitely don't take the Lord serious. Lord's word is edifying. I'm going to give all praise and glory to you. Howl by Shema Abishai by Shema Kodash. Till next time, Shalom.